Welcome back, Zero K fans. And we're gonna be doing a two v two this time. It's gonna be Scuzzy and I versus Anarchid and Orphilius, who has decided to call themselves Corvus Furor, although admittedly it should be Corvi Furor or Corvi Furia because that would actually be more correct. What they're trying to do is because the because the name change for Shadow to Raven, everyone's kind of telling me jokingly to change my name to Raven Fury, and Orphilius has basically done that in Latin, but wrong since that should be genitive case and thus Corvi. And Furor, it means rage or madness, whereas Furia is more fury, so either one probably works okay. But yeah, definitely Corvi, not Corvus. Bit of a nitpick, but yeah. Anyway, so Skazi, who is on my team, is going to be playing as spiders, whereas I am going to be playing Cloaky Butts. Actually, I should pull an Anarchy here. I meant to do that last game, I should do it this game. Just so I have my gremlin, and I can send it- I mean, it, it's a bit harder when you're dealing with two players than with one player. But I can at least send my gremlin around, and that'll help a bit. And you go over here, and I probably should be expecting to get attacked pretty soon, come to think of it. I should set this up here. Okay, so yeah, I was speaking the settings, and it looks like this is map independent, but yeah, the, the the additive thing is just it's just borked. I, it just doesn't make any sense. Honestly, there's no reason to do it that way. Oh wait, this is supposed to hold fire. Oh good, because I don't want the I I mean obviously going to make gremlins because there is air units that I have to deal with that, but I don't want to be making. Oops. CQ. I don't want to be making gremlins. Or like that first gremlin. I don't want that first gremlin to be obvious. The first gremlin needs to not be seen. Like, it exists to just see what's going on. Which one's Anarchid? Anarchid's red. Okay, so I gotta be careful about that. Anarchid's the one I want to spot. Okay, so that... That should work for now. We gotta see what Anarchid's up to. Anarchid is currently building gremlins themselves. Or a gremlin, which means I have to start screening for that, which is just perfect. And that's up. Wait, what? No! Don't stay in the center of the map and die! You fool! Well, okay, that's that's it, dead. Okay, you, however, are more useful. You can go off. Actually, keep him staying. Stay in the base. Or should go over here. Nothing's gonna stop you over there. Looks like Anarchid's switching over to. So yeah, Contra switching over to some warriors. So they have warriors coming in here. And thanks to the fleas, you do see the Swiss. Thanks to Skazi, who's actually using Spiderbot as a map hack factory that it should be, which is totally missing, totally forgot to do in the last game. That was a big mistake of my. Oh, no, just, just you two. You're the only ones that are five. That was a big mistake of mine in the last game. Okay, well, that's being taken care of. And the Conjurer here should move for. Actually, the Conjurer should move here and start building up. Take this side of the map. What? No. I'm saying... Oh, for crying out loud! Don't do it that way, you moron! I said shift space. You're supposed to just do it when it's nearest to that point. I think. I don't know. Shift space doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Alright, so Rock is coming in to try to counter the Spider Factory. I have Glaive to counter that. And Swifts are basically not being able to do too much. And the commander's also not doing much either, which is not a good thing. Actually, you build that. Because these guys are making more metal spots. Oops. No. And five, move over here. And nothing too unusual coming out of Anarchy. I'm just going to move a bit closer to see if I can spot the rest of the army. Oh, good plan. Although I don't know how well it's going to work. This guy's telling me to harass with gremlins and glaives. Not a bad idea, but... That's also going to be a bit of a pain. One, move around. No. Yeah, there's... Actually, that's an old message, come to think of it. Or old-ish. Okay, well, I'll just send the gremlins over to actually hit the air units as they come... 
here-ish. I was trying to set them up for defense, but defenders are coming up, so that should... Oh, for... Ah! Can't I do anything right? Seriously, Anarchid keeps just hitting me every single time when I'm most vulnerable. Like, what the heck is going on? Like, is there a gremlin somewhere around here? I really don't know. Oh, crap, which reminds me, I had a screen for gremlins too, and I can't because I'm busy trying to keep my gremlins alive, and don't make it obvious you're there. Yes, I'm trying to keep my gremlins alive, which isn't working especially well, although it looks like... Okay, you are on four. You go over here and help defend. Both of you actually go over here and help defend. You guys, I want to go into the main base and actually deal with stuff. And also go over here and... Oh, for... No. Of course, my conjures are sort of out of the way. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. If I can pull this off... If I can set these guys to move just the right time. Oh, what's the range? Darn it! Too far. Yeah, just outside of the defender. That's what I need. Stop. Hit. I mean, I can't... If I get into defender range, they're dead. Of course, now I can see that as well. And... and Anarchid's factor not doing much. Anarchid... Where's Anarchid focused? They're focused here-ish. All right. Don't want to worry about that too much. You can stop building gremlins. Probably switch over to sides now. Oh, an anarchist! Ow! No! Shoot! Anarchist already spotted them. I mean, it hasn't spotted the one inside his own or the inside their own base. However, Scotty doing a good job taking that out, carrying for me while I go to harass because that's that's gonna work okay. Ah, it's fun the last one, too. Actually, flank out those glaives. I mean, numbers advantage doesn't matter much when it comes to glaive versus glaive fights. Because the way the micro tends to really make a huge difference, especially with low numbers. But six on one, there's no way out of that. However, in that case, might as well just... Oh, find the commander and... Try to surround it. Actually, succeed in surrounding it. Where the heck did the model go? Okay, so the model flew off into infinity. I didn't expect that to happen, but I'm cool with that. I I can live with that. Okay. Let's pull a scythe in there. And these guys, okay. Two constructors, one constructor over here. Another one, build another defender, and then continue along and build. Actually, you build again. And then build more, and then build energy, because it turns out we actually need some. And where's my commander? My commander's over here, so you can build energy here. Why are you not building energy there? Okay, we'll go over here and try to attack from this side. And you guys go back on five. And see if you can't interest- Oh, crap. No, 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 you're not on fire. You're- you're on nothing. You- you stay here. You stay here and spot for my si Oh. Hmm. That might work. It's a little bit of a wonky timing, but it might just work. Get rid of some of these guys here, and my glaives have got to be careful. Oh, my glaives. My gremlins have got to be careful. Two of them already died unnecessarily. But can you not attack something right next to you? Ay. Silly scythe. Whatever, I'll send more of them, I suppose. And, oh, wow. Okay, so Orphelius is voting to resign at this point. But I'm not sure about anything else. If Anarchy's going to agree to that. I kind of doubt Anarchy's going to agree to that. Oops, no. You go on two. I want you to attack Anarchy. While these guys move in and tear apart, well, try to tear apart Aphelius' base. Not quite as efficiently as I would like, but they're there at least, and all that attack is breaking out. Actually, yeah, might as well. It's kind of not the best way of going about it, but it will work. Go around here. Four on one. That should be a win. 
and move this in here to harass, get rid of sight, and make sure that if bombing happens, it splashes and kind of hurts Anarchid stuff. And try to get away from that warrior, because that warrior is scary. Actually, get away from the warrior, but kill that Rector, I mean Conjurer. Move over. Nope, that's not going to work. Shoot. Almost. Oh, I keep forgetting to pull these guys forward again. Okay, now Anakin wants to resign, so that is game. Managed to pull the game off at least 2v2. Get more scythes in there. Get more glaze in there. And there we go! They resigned! I win! Well, Scuzzy and I win! We win! Hooray! It worked. We caught a win. So apparently there's some issues with air. That was kind of one of the reasons why that was happening in the first place, but hey, that was a victory. So that was another game. At least I managed to win that time. Or managed to be on the winning team. I didn't win alone, but managed to be on the winning team at least. So that worked out well! I don't know if I'm gonna do another one. I guess maybe. I mean, that lifted my spirits a bit. At the very least. No, winning always feels good. Winning tends to feel good. We'll see here. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay, so I guess... I guess we're starting again. We're going to be on Inculta, which I haven't actually shown me playing on. I've I've shown it. It's a map I cast. It's a map that we've seen in tournaments a fair amount. It's not a map that I'm particularly familiar with as far as personal experience, but it is a map that I'm familiar with as far as casting goes. So it comes down to basically... Analysis and well, I guess analysis versus versus built-in knowledge. I don't know. Doesn't really matter what I go for. Well, it sort of matters. I'll go with like a bombardier. deer. Bombardier. Go for that. Oh right, this is a big map. Actually, do I want to go ships? I think I will. I think I will go ships. And then I should probably also, for your benefit, switch it to dynamic water so that it's easier to see underwater. Also so that the sun doesn't destroy everything, but mostly to make it easier to see underwater. All right, so I get these, get this in. Build this up. Which one I want to do, as you're noticing here, something I learned when I played against Google Frog they mentioned, or that they mentioned afterwards was that, although Google Frog is not going to but that they mentioned afterwards is you want to put your commander in such a place that they can build the factory right off the bat and then build as many metal extractors as they can immediately after without moving at all. And that's what I was trying to do. Well, this map is actually kind of tricky to lay out, but yeah, I was trying to do exactly that. I guess I'll have to go forward, although it looks like I might have to do... No, I'm going to have to not have those. want to do that, and then also want to have sonar, and then radar, and then more stuff forward. Okay, Skazi's going for hovercraft. I'm going for ships. This should be interesting. Let's begin. Yeah, see, it's flickering here. Yeah, it's noticeable in the stream. Okay, so that's something that's a bit of a bug. I wasn't sure if it was a bug in the latest engine, and it is. Didn't seem to pop in the other games, though, but it's definitely popping up here. It's really annoying. Okay, so Skeeter, go forward, see what's going on. Wait. 
the heck? There's... This is line of sight off. This is line of sight on. Is it broken with water? No, it's broken with dynamic water. It's okay with everything else, but dynamic water breaks it. Looks like... Oh, I know. I've seen this problem before. It's something to do with... If the alpha channel is above one, I think. No, that wasn't it. No, it's if it's doing any sort of multiplication or addition, because this is additive, that tends to cause that sort of... Because that problem is basically it's going above one and it's clamping at one. So yeah, I have to go dynamic water apparently now. It's not dynamic, sorry, bump water. Thankfully nothing is underwater at the moment, but yeah, that's a bit of a pain. And also very distracting, but yes, I can't do that because it doesn't work. Well, I suppose I could go for the reflective refractive water. Just to have it be a bit more visible, although it looks nowhere near as pretty. And actually, not all that much more visible. Yeah, let's go with bump mapped. Whatever. Kinda sucks that Fog of War doesn't work on this, that's really annoying. <clears throat> Incredibly annoying. I'm just surprised that that... I guess it hasn't really been tested. Dynamic Water is pretty old. It's one of those features that existed a while ago and then just sort of stopped. Like, no one really developed it after a while. After Bump Water came on the scene, I haven't really seen a whole lot of work done in Dynamic Water. It's had the same bugs that it has had for years now. It's just no one's working on it because, well, what's the point? Like, everyone's using Bump Water. The only thing... Bump Water, it's kind of hard to see through the water. You can change the settings. You can actually change it in the map settings. But it is still kind of hard to see through the water. Especially when you're dealing with compressed video like you are now, for all of you watching now, or those of you watching on YouTube. This is, of course, a compressed video. And the way that H64 in particular does compression involves, although nearly the way the angles are for the tilt zoom actually works very nicely here. It doesn't, doesn't flush out too much of the screen. But yeah, the way that H64 compresses video, which I'm sure a lot of you are aware, is it tries to find similar colors and areas of low contrast and then basically just make them one color. Oh shoot, there's a lot of subs there. Get my sub out of there. Unfortunately, I'm not great on C either. It's not something I'm all that knowledgeable about. Oh, not Defender. Build an Urchin and then build Tidal Generators. That's all you can actually build underwater. And then you go and build more stuff. And then you assist construction because, frankly, that's all that can be really done here. Erase that, get that out of the way. Not really relevant anymore. If there were a lot of subs there, they are no longer there. Alright, let's go over here. It looks like Skazi hasn't had anything over to the north that's too interesting. Oh, and there's a lot of stuff here, but I think I can raid past it. Send these guys over to help. Because the snake's gonna do nothing against them. And actually, it's gonna do nothing, period. And as Anarchid completes that urchin... Oh, sorry, that's... that's Orphelius. Orphelia's completed that urchin. Yeah, this isn't going well. So, and as much as there's a series, we are 1-0, Skazi and I. I'm not confident in our chances of keeping that streak up. I don't mean to be negative, but it doesn't seem likely. I should actually switch over. I should build a lot more of these. But I'm going to take out Skeeters for the moment. Put in more Typhoons. Actually, why am I... Well, okay, Typhoons are going to work well against against Daggers. Typhoons work wonders against Daggers. They work decently well against... What is they decent well against? Oh, yeah, it's like... They're good against buildings, good against Daggers. They're not going to be use... They're semi-useful underwater. I think they have Death Chargers. No, they don't have Death Chargers. They're useless underwater. They won't do anything to deal with any of the subs. And... There's... Shoot, the first one's just coming up. Okay, you get over here. 
I have our military right now? I have two Skeeters. Which are on one. Which at least help a bit. And... Two subs? Oh yeah, I do have two snakes. Alright. The snakes should go out and harass independently. The Skeeters need to go here with the Typhoon. And you guys are on one, because one is my Assault Force, two is my Defense Force. And that's what I mean. Typhoons... Actually, I don't. I haven't really demonstrated what I mean. Typhoons haven't done anything yet. It's kind of gone around, and thankfully we have claymores, which is actually one of the reasons I'm regretting slightly not having gone hover myself or amphib, because amphib would have been interesting. Although it also would have meant that I would have had to deal with the whole water thing a lot more than I do now. I mean, like I said, it's not too hard for me to work with. It's just more a matter of whether or not it comes up on stream. That's what I'm worried about. Alright, so let's see if I can get these snakes forward again. Oh, that's not good. Hunters beat... Hunters beat typhoons outright. And I think there's something underwater as well, I'm not sure. But yeah, hunters beat typhoons outright. Nice claymore shot there, Skazi! Thank you, that saved a lot. Alright, so that's... That's at least that. If I can get... So get the hunter up. Oops, with you. That will help in defense. And my offensive force trying to go along, trying to find something. Looks like there is actually a free spot. Oh, wow! Orphelius is pretty open on that lab. Oh, one sub is not going to do the trick. If I get two of them, that would help. But I don't know if these would be able to get there. Actually, I can go directly, I think. I think that'll work. And where's my command? My commander has been idle. I need radar. And I need sonar. I need to know what's going on. Ah, shoot. Of course, mobile defenses. That's not so well known. <laughs> that I can't quite expect. Although I can expect there's going to be some. There's going to be quite a few. And typhoons and hunters combined can beat hunters alone. But urchins will be both. Yeah, hunters kind of slowly beat typhoons. They can kind of kite away from them. It's fairly easy for that to happen, and I don't want to be in that fight. I can avoid it. Okay, you guys... Go as part of group two. I need your defensive work. Pull back. Regroup. Get your friends. Attack again. Actually, I'm, I got some idle workers, too. And then build more metal. And actually... Build more of these as well. As you build radar so I can see what the heck's going on without having to risk units. Because when you're playing C game, units are very expensive. Risking units is not a good idea. If you're doing anything that would risk your units, do something else. Or at least be very careful about it. Like don't do it do not do it casually or flippantly. Because if you do, you will lose your units, and that's bad. Because they're very expensive, they take a while to build, and your opponent will then get that territory for reclaim, and thus stop you from winning because they have a bunch of reclaim over you. Great, I'm low on energy and I'm on metal. I'm high on metal, low on energy. This is the worst economic situation you can be in. Pretty much. And in come these daggers. If I could get this guy out of the way. Nope, can't get it out of the way. Cannot get it out of the way. Where? Why are the typhoons not attacking? No, they're too far away, that's why. Not in defensive positions. Okay, you go do what the other one couldn't. Right. Because input grabbing is never enabled by default, because for silly reasons. And then you build defenses. Okay, it looks like everything's going north. Which is why I have radar, because I have slow-moving units. When you have slow-moving units, you need to know where your stuff is going to be. And also, my frame rate's dropping, too. It's 30. That's nice. That's just perfect. Okay. Get everything in two again. Hmm. I shouldn't be using this anymore. I should be switching over. I think. I'm get some shredders. I'm guessing that one of the players is going for an air switch pretty soon. 
It's usually around this time that would happen. So I'm just gonna... It's a blind guess. Oops. Hey, this is a total blind read. I really don't know if this is gonna work. However, a lot of daggers getting themselves in a bad position and a penetrator at that. That's not what I expected at all. Did not expect a penetrator. I'd expected that I would have gone for a crusader instead, but at least I can get rid of some of these hunters. This guy's and I can just assault out the hunters. Take out as many of those as possible. There's gonna be a few losses on my end, but hey, that's that's not bad actually. Let's put it on here, move forward. Actually, you guys take care of that. Because that's your specialty. That's what you do. You're all about depth charges. You guys, on the other hand, actually might want to retreat. I think it so get rid of the urchin if you can. Get Oh, didn't quite kill the urchin. Okay, whatever. Oh, kill the urchin. Got it. Nice. That's great, but it looks like I think a reef is up. Seriously, is is that a reef? Because that looks suspiciously like a reef in terms of the damage in terms of the drones. Drones don't just happen. They've already gotten to Strider class. Well. I mean, that's actually not a bad thing for the Shredder. But still. This is bad. This is really bad. Now, as you saw from the last game that I cast, the tournament game, Warlords are actually a better option. But still, this is not an easy situation. And put the shredders in at least to reduce the damage taken. But yeah, this is not. This is less than a deal. And I think that's. Yeah, that's the reef. That's the reef, alright. So get the shredder over there to take care of the drones. At least that'll help. That'll reduce this firepower. Because shredders. Or rather, reefs require a lot of drones. That's how they work. So I didn't totally call it. But at least I was able to salvage whatever I could off that. And that's more snakes. Which I think I might be able to send to the south. I don't think the south is defended. Just looking at the amount of stuff on the radar, the south doesn't look defended. It's going to take that out. Hopefully I read that right. Yeah, we are falling back. Where is... Falling behind, rather. Let's put a reclaim over here. Sheesh. Go eat that reclaim. Just to make us get that warlord faster. As I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Actually, I need more, we need more energy. That's what we need. Don't try to build anything that takes longer than about a minute or so. Like, if it's taking longer than a minute, seriously consider it. In this case, it's a warlord that we really, really, really need. So I'm going to just go with it. But yeah. Be mindful of that time. Try not to be careless about it. And my commander's gonna die. Which is perfect. Although it does kill a lot of the daggers at this point, that really, really, really doesn't matter. That accomplishes nothing. Although, getting rid of these reef drones does accomplish something. So the shredders the shredders surviving is a much bigger deal, I think. But frankly, we're still in a desperation play. This is still very much on the back foot. Barely trying to live. There's not much we're able to do here. Although there's two urchins. They're doing a number on that hunter. Not as much that snake. I just get get the mariner out of there. Oh, it, it worked. Ray? I mean, it didn't work for very long because the reef is coming in. So, no, no, no. You, you get out of there. You, you leave. Run away. In fact, you too. Just try to build power in the base, I guess, or something. I don't know. There's really not a lot to be said. This warlord may not even be up in time. And Skazi's thrown in the towel. That's just perfect. Now I have to deal with that too. And well, Skazi's going for the Warlord as well. Ah, I should have noticed that. Yeah, I don't see any way out of this. So that's game. That was considerably less interesting than the game on Trojan Hills. At least considerably less winning focused. There was less winning involved. I don't like that. I like to win. A lot. Anyway, I don't know. I mean, this is... This is a test engine, so there might be bugs, and that's kind of the point of playing this. I just want to stream it as well, because I have, this is my stream time. Well, 
Okay, I'm probably gonna switch back my old stream time of 9 p.m. UTC or 1 p.m. PST because the stuff that I was planning on doing in the weekend, I've kind of been rethinking it. Like, I, I learned a bit more about what it was and it's like, or, well, okay, it's more like I tried it and it's like, okay, well, you know what? It's not a regular thing for me. So I'm not gonna be doing anything different on the weekends. I'm probably gonna switch back to my old schedule. This is a temporary thing. Sorry for the inconvenience, but yeah, that was, that was it. I think it's going to be it for me tonight as well. Four matches. That's, that's pretty good. Hope you enjoyed that and have a good night, everyone.